Hey folks, welcome back to our ongoing series from the Arizona Burn Foundation called Continuing the Mission, where we're updating everyone on what the foundation is doing, how you can get involved, uh, what you can do to help. We have a guest that we're gonna bring on in just a moment, but first a little bit about the Arizona Burn Foundation. If you're not familiar, it is of course there to improve the quality of life for um, the burn survivors and their families here in our state. And also um, talk about the safety programs. Ev anything uh, of fire safety and burn prevention is there with the Arizona Burn Foundation. So we appreciate uh, that organization doing all that they do. And one of the people that is affiliated with that organization is Kristen Bridges. Kristen, thank you so much for being here. Hi, thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Well, we wanted to have you on to talk about the Milo and Moxie program. It's a very uh, popular program with the Arizona Burn Foundation. Just tell folks what it's all about. Yes, so our Milo and Moxie Smart Safety Ranger program was launched in the spring of 2017. And what it does is it takes two adorable characters, Milo and Moxie, and they go through every room of a typical house teaching families, students, kids, parents um, how to be safe in each room. Um, for example, to stay away from the safety zone, matches, lighters, fire pits, grills, chemicals in the bathroom, all that great stuff. And at the end of the book, there's some activities for them to do to reinforce their learning. And now that we have virtual classrooms uh, dating back to uh, in the spring semester and now moving on to the fall, how, how is this program gonna change? So I think it's been a very, very easy and super exciting transition. Uh, we haven't lost any of the efficiency of Milo and Moxie. We've just taken them and put them onto a virtual platform. So one of the things that we've done is we have created five different PSA short videos that were uploaded to our YouTube page that go through each room of the house following the book um, where I read part of the story and then I give very practical, realistic, easy, strategy straight to parents and kids themselves on how to stay safe in that room. Um, so if you do, if you are a parent, if you have any kids, uh, feel free to visit our YouTube page and just show that video to your kids um, at dinner time, at, you know, at bedtime, just to give them some realistic tips that you can practice in your home. And the foundation is developing an app for Milo and Moxie? Yes, so that will be launched hopefully this year, if not next year, and it will be a very, very um, engaging and standardized um, app that will take the Milo and Moxie story and create mini games and uh, burn prevention fire safety games that children will play to reinforce the learning of the burn prevention, but also to practice um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, geography all that good stuff to align to Arizona State curriculum. Tell us about uh, the wildfire book. Yes, so this is something that I am very, very excited about. Um, as you probably know, uh, Arizona has had a really, really rough time with, with wildfires this year. Um, just in May, we had already had over 400 in 2020 alone. And unfortunately, about 85% of those are human caused. So the Arizona Burn Foundation stepped up. We created an entire new Milo and Moxie program where we took these two same characters, Milo and Moxie, and we put them in the woods. And what they do is they give families very, very realistic, practical strategies on how to protect your home in case of a wildfire and how to prevent, help prevent wildfires. So we talk about fire resistant zones. We talk about emergency supply kits. We talk about how to build, maintain, and extinguish a safe campfire. We cover it all. Such important information. And it's all on the website, right? azburn.org? azburn.org, yes. Okay, Kristen, thank you so much for being with us. And folks, we'll see you next time on Continuing the Mission.